Good evening and welcome to another edition of the IADC Update. This evening we are coming from inside our very own studio and we are going to be chatting with a few members of our staff. You would have heard it mentioned before that the IADC will be a virtual university and today it is not just a virtual university i would say that it is a university because many persons are coming here and they're learning and they are training and they're becoming better equipped for when they would eventually have to leave the iadc at the end of the this project now we have featured in the past a few of the young professionals here at the iadc who would have studied in cuba in mexico and elsewhere um, taiwan included and would have come here to work and they're still working here making their contributions at the IADC. Today we are continuing with a few of the others and we are going to be chatting with them to find out exactly what they're doing here, what they're learning, what kind of discipline they're learning and how all of this is going to transfer with them to the workforce in St. Vincent and the Grenadines when they eventually leave the IADC. Now, IADC, yes, we are responsible for ensuring the construction of the Argyle International Airport, but we are more than that. We are also about training the next generation of workers here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I'm going to start this evening with Mr. Stephen Seymour, who has a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering and a Master's degree in another subject area, which he will tell us about. He's been here for the last five years and he's working in a supervisory capacity at the mechanical workshop. So let me introduce you, Mr. Stephen Seymour. Good evening and welcome to the IADC update. Good evening, Jennifer, and thank you for inviting me here. Okay, you're welcome. Now, Stephen, you have been here for the past five years. Um, I mentioned earlier that you also have a master's degree in another subject area, which is of course related to, to our project development and planning, etc. Could you tell us about that? That master's is in um, project management and development. It has to do with what steps has to be taken to help to develop a country. Not so much in terms of, um, not just financially, but the human development aspects and of the people, the populace. Okay, so you're really well placed here at the IADC. You have the mechanical skills and you have the project developmental skills. Yes, I, I was glad when I was actually taken on here. I was, it was one of the premier um, workplace for me. That type of involved included all the different areas that I'm interested in, which is working with persons from different countries, working professionals in different areas. A very good holistic project management or project that is going on here. Hmm. So when you came to the IADC, you know what you're about and you, you, you know what you, what you wanted, you expected certain things. Have we lived up to your expectations at the IADC? Yes, in pretty much all of the cases, yes. It would have been good to have a bit more project management exposure directly there but in terms of combining project management and engineering there was a lot of that here at IADC. Uh, there's a lot to do with time management, meeting deadlines and some of the things that could cause um, slippage and generally it was a very good experience. Okay now you would have worked elsewhere before coming to the, the IADC. What are some of the major differences you would have encountered? I worked before at ECGC, East Caribbean Group of Companies. Um, that's an ongoing, it's a company. It doesn't have such a, a project deadline as such. Not only that, its um, budget is, is not fixed as on, it's, a, it's for profit. This project is not so much for profit. So we have to work very close to that our spending. And it was not as challenging in terms of um, time management and management of uh, your subordinates. Make sure things are done on time in the right way and professionally. So this is a whole new experience. Mm -hmm. One that you wouldn't trade for anything else? No, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> now you mentioned your subordinates and you work here in a supervisory capacity. Yes, I do. 
about how many persons you have had to manage on a daily basis and, and what are some of the challenges you experience? Well, the workshop has about, from time, it has varied from maybe 20 to about 40 persons depending on short the duration of the last five years. Uh, it is a very tough bunch. It's a mechanical maintenance repairs department. You know, these guys are normally the rough cut from the society. So you have to type and get into their type of thinking, their type of vibes, and manage them through that. Most of them are very jovial and they love to have fun. They love to do, do their work. They actually enjoy doing their work, actually, and they love to see results. And when you encourage that inside of them, and you, both of us, share the results that, that we get in terms of repairing the machines, in the end, it's a very, um, it's a very good feeling. No. There will not always be an IADC. The Agal International Airport project will come to an end at some time and many of us will have to go back to the, 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 the way things are, um, go back into the regular workforce and we will have to either comply with what is there or try to do things differently because you would have learned something else having worked at the IADC. What do you think you will take away most from here and how would it assist you in reintegrating back into the regular workforce? Well, let me say, with the completion of the International Airport, there's no going back. It's only forward. We would expect to see a large increase in projects, developmental projects in St. Vincent. We'd also expect to see a lot of foreign direct investment into the country in terms of hotels, even infrastructure or different business ideas, even agriculture, which is important for our development. And going forward, I foresee trying to utilize most of my, um, lawn, my experience here in maintenance and in supervision of work and in project management to, if possible, lead in one of these projects that may will be coming into Savingston. It will come after this is completed. I would love to try to push some of this professionalism out there into the public in whatever I do after going forward from this project. And I believe that the project has prepared me to compete on a regional and international level. With all that we have done over the, my last five years here, I believe I could take on whoever comes from over there to bid for projects or to bid for certain positions. That's right. And you're not only limited to St. Vincent. You could leave St. Vincent and go elsewhere and bid because you have the skill. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, the, the, the opportunities are endless. You're not limited at all. And, and, and you would have learned and learned well here. And uh, we wish you all the best um, for the future. But we are not finished here yet. You have to first complete the work here. Okay. And then you can move on. <laughs> okay. All right? Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank Stephen. Very much. Um, we do have another young man with us. His name is Yoni. Yoni. His name is Yoni. Let me get it right. Yoni Jadin and he also studied in cuba he's a mechanical engineer and he has a bachelor of science degree in mechanical engineering and uh, he recently joined us like 10 months or so ago so he's a uh, he's a little bit young here but he's learning nonetheless and i'm sure over the past 10 months he's learned a lot so let me say good evening and welcome to the idc update yoni good evening um it's a pleasure to be here you have been at the IADC for the past 10 months or so. Uh, have you worked before coming to the IADC or was this your first job after studying? After studying, I actually was a lecturer at the St. Vincent Community College. Mm -hmm. Which division? The technical division. Technical division. And uh, did you lecture in mechanical engineering or something else? Well, I, was do I lectured in machine shop and welding. Mm -hmm. Right, and your students were good to you? Very good. <laughs> so what made you decide to come to IADC? Well, I thought that being at IADC, I would have been more exposed in my field of mm -hmm. study. Mm -hmm. And I would have haven't had an opportunity to, to, to grow in my, my field. What did you do when you just came to IADC? Well, I was responsible for, along with the Cuban, responsible for the maintenance of the tree plants, the asphalt plant, mm -hmm. the concrete plant, and the crushing mm -hmm. plant. I won't say that I, I didn't do too much work because <laughs> It's a lot of job. It's a lot of work to to keep these plants running, especially the crushing plant. Okay, so the <clears throat> the area of mechanical engineering you would have done would have been in the plants, and not so much at the mechanical workshop. 
Yeah, in the plants. Okay, so you would have worked in the, the plants. Maintaining the plants, maintaining the plants, right. How was that for you? How was the experience? Well, it was it was a good experience. It's still I'm still learning. And my work was <coughs> to actually write up the maintenance plan for each plant and to make sure that the mechanics and the electricians follow out the maintenance plan of each plant. And uh, did you find that rewarding? Well, did it, did, it, did it allow you to use your skill the way you expected to be using it? Yeah, very much so. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, if you have a problem, you might need to, to actually think up of a way to actually solve that problem mm. or to, to invent something mm -hmm. to actually keep the plant running. Okay. So you are kind of solutions man. You encounter problems and you have to find solutions. Exactly. So it really tested your skill for, for real. Yes. Okay. Now, are you still doing that work? Now? Well, um, right now I'm actually learning operations for each plant, operation and production of each plant. So I have to go around to each plant and actually learn how to operate each plant. Mm -hmm. Learn about the production, learn about um, everything that's necessary mm -hmm. to keep the plant running. Okay. Now we mentioned that I, this is a virtual university and you realize that he came, he's a mechanical engineer, but he's learning other things. So just now, not only would you be able to maintain those plants, but you could operate them yourself and help with the production. That's the asphalt plant, the, the concrete, the plant concrete and battery and the plant and the crushing plant, all three plants. So by the time we are finished here at the IADC, even before that, We'll have somebody who could actually operate all of these plans that's and, that per and that person will be you Yanni I mean yes. you're getting invaluable experience here at the IADC it really is a university because you came here once at a scale and you're going to leave with others and you could even pass on those skills when when you when you leave IADC or even while you're here because other younger persons may come and you you might actually end up having to train them well i think that's the thing. idea really they're they're training me so that in the end i'll be able to train other that's other people. right that's right so we're not wasting time here and when the cubans leave st vincent we have a core of young people and you guys are young young people who could take over and work in other areas in st vincent where where where, where that sort of skill is needed and that is impressive. So you're enjoying your work. Yeah, very much so. Now, when you leave the, the IADC, because like I, I said to Stephen a, a while ago, we're not all going to, we have to move on. The Argyle International Airport will be completed and we will have to move on to other jobs. What will you be taking with you from the IADC? And how is it going to help you to go forward when you reintegrate into that world of work? I've, since I've been here, I've learned a lot, like you heard before, I've learned a lot and with that I've gained a lot of experience and I've learned how to actually deal with people, learn how to supervise people and I think with that kind of experience and that kind of knowledge, I'll be able to do whatever, whatever life, 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 life sends my way. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be taking back a special kind of discipline with you from the one we know that's out there? Yes, very much so. You guys are doing well. I'm happy for the training that, you, that you're getting here. I mean, you came here well qualified, but of course, most of that was theoretical. No, you have done the practical work and your experience have increased. You have gained invaluable experience and you can now take that with you. Nobody can take it away from you. So you will now take it with you wherever you go. And like you said, you have now become more marketable and you can compete just about on any level with anybody. And uh, thanks to the IADC, we have made all of that possible. So thank you both for joining me this evening and I wish you all, all the best. Continue to work hard towards the completion of the Agar International Airport. And to all of you in the audience, we thank you for listening to us and we will see you next time on another IADC update. Good evening.